I just got a new tripod. I, I go through these pretty often. This door handle broke off of here. So I just got a pair of new ones. And these ones are made out of metal instead of plastic, like the one that broke. Oh, I see what. You know, all right, you know how this broke? I pulled it up and it got stuck in that up position and then I pushed it down and it just broke right off. I see why. There was a screw stuck in there. All right. You know what else they should make out of metal is this thing. This is, I've replaced these before. It's just these knobs pull right off of here. It's junk. That's nice. Hundred feet. I'll put a link in the description for this. All right, I'm back on that job where I just put a video here about a month ago where I took down a bunch of trees on the perimeter of this whole property. And then I filled in a low area in the front yard right where I'm standing and dug the material out of that hillside back there. So the reason I'm here is to just take care of a little drainage issue that that somewhat arised once this fill was brought in. Now there was always kind of a puddle in this spot and then since but it didn't really matter because it was just woods and like downhill and rocky and it was you know unusable space now, since it's filled in, it's, you know, the goal is to kind of have probably a little more driveway to the right side here, and then eventually lawn on this side. So what happened, the water that was on the, down in the hole is now up on the surface. Now, we thought this might happen. We figured, oh, well, it's pretty rocky material I'm using for fill, so it might drain through. But it's been raining really hard the last month. So there, there was been like a puddle here. I mean, it's dried up now, but you can see where it was. So the, you know, it's no big deal though. So the goal is to just dig a trench right here. And then I got some pipe, perforated pipe with the holes in it. So I'm going to put that in it. And then just surround it with that three quarter inch drainage gravel. So that shouldn't take too long. So the other thing while I'm here, you always got to watch this. Um, it shouldn't be an issue, but you can see here's the electric service from the house you could see it on that pole right in the center there coming down in that conduit and then on the house over here there it is coming into the house so there's a good chance I'm probably going to be digging across it but I'm mostly digging in the fill I brought in and that electric service should be at least 18 inches down so there shouldn't be any chance of seeing that but you know, I just got to be careful and watch that I know it is there and not to pull hard on any things that may seem like a root or, you know, just you just kind of dig slower and take a little less off because you don't want to dig up a buried utility like that. That could turn into a headache. All right, so let me get started here.
right, so that went pretty well. So I ended up, there was a few stumps here, which I found. They're, stumps are a little hard to dig out when they're completely buried because you can't see what you're digging at. But I got them out, you know, without having to go a different route than I wanted to. This is right where I wanted to put it. All right, so the next step here is to get a couple inches of gravel down in this and then lay some pipe in, the perforated pipe, and then finish filling it up with gravel. I may need another load of gravel. That was 16 tons right there. But just looking at this trench, you know, I want to fill it to the very top and then plus even go over I want to cover all this dirt too. And I'd even like some right in there where that puddle was. Just, I mean, that's just to raise it up. The guy even talked, the homeowner even wanted that done too because, you know, again, the plan is to put a garage right in that area there. So once that garage is there, you know, this parking area is going to seem a lot smaller and you'd want to be coming out here anyway. So this trench, it's already starting to fill up with water too. So that's, you know, it's been a good week or so since it's rained heavy. So you can, you know, so it's definitely good that this trench is here. All right, so let me go get my uh, tractor to spread this gravel around. over the winter where I put some of these pipes in with the holes up and it turned into a big discussion about the orientation of these holes. I ended up putting them in both ways on that job and it did end up working both ways but most people say that the holes go down so I mean in this case you can kind of see the water's coming up from the ground. It will go you know come up into this pipe and then the pipe has you know it will give it an easier route for the water to flow out so you know, the holes, yeah, they work kind of both ways, but down is really preferred.
All right, so I just finished up doing that work. That turned out pretty well. So I'll come back here during the rain and see if there's any puddle here. All right, so I'm back here a few days later and it's raining out and it rained it's only raining a little bit right now, but it was raining very hard, like an hour ago. So, there is no puddle here. That's good, that's what we wanted to see. Let's go check out the, the pipe, see if any water's coming out. Come here, Levi. So, so Levi's here, inspecting it, making sure everything's okay. Levi! All right, so, you know, water's not pouring out, but it's uh, definitely water coming out of here. You know, since the pipe's got holes in it, it's and the whole trench is gravel, it's probably losing the water. And, and there could be water running, you know, right through here. But, you know, the important part is that there's uh, no puddle over there. So I definitely call this a success. The next project here will probably be something with this lawn here um, I smoothed it out pretty well with just the box blade I don't know why the, the, the guy said he definitely wants the topsoil he just wants to wait next year so um, so that that probably be next I mean he wants to do a garage over there but the uh, guy that was supposed to show up to do it hasn't been showing up so um, I think that might be a next year project too so but you know, this definitely looks good. The uh, driveway looks nice. And this looks pretty good over here too, so. Come here. So get in. Good boy, Levi. <laughs> 